It's a very merry yet quiet Christmas right here in the Valley. News Channel 3 Samantha Lummy Bow spoke with some visitors about how they spent their holiday. It's the holiday season, a time when people come together to be with their loved ones. Over the past week, thousands of people flocked to the Coachella Valley to celebrate. All of our family lives on different sides of the country, so we decided let's pick somewhere different and celebrate Christmas together. One family I spoke with decided to make a quick stop by the desert after their trip to Arizona. We got here 30 minutes ago. We're going for a quick little walk. We'll go swimming for a little bit, and then we're going to go out to dinner tonight and celebrate uh, Christmas with one another. Others opted for a calm and quiet celebration with a stroll down El Paseo. Well, we're, well we celebrated at a meeting this morning. Yeah. Went to a meeting yeah. with uh, fellow friends and then uh, had some a nice lunch at the house. We have a nice dinner plan. We have a nice dinner plan, yep. But for millions nationwide, the Omicron variant put a damper on holiday get-togethers. For a second year in a row, December 25th marked another COVID Christmas. We were planning on going out of the country uh, at holiday time, but that got thwarted by COVID. And just like myself, many had to opt for our virtual Christmas to see their loved ones safely. We, we did do some FaceTime. Um, we were actually supposed to meet with my wife's parents when we were flying out here, but because of COVID, we just decided it was too dangerous to do that. So yeah. we couldn't do that. If you are spending time with family for the holidays, the CDC suggests to get tested and vaccinated, wear a mask, social distance, avoid big crowds, and of course, wash your hands often. In Palm Desert, Samantha Lumibau, News Channel 3.